welcome back youtube this is Khaleesi's youtube page all things about her and my journey as we go along figuring everything out with cloth diapering exclusive pumping and just all the things that come with moms and babies today i am giving a review on the lv pump but before i start that i just want to talk a little bit about my feeding experience and what me and Khaleesi do so right now we are exclusively pumping because we're having some issues with lat latching and breastfeeding so we're still kind of like meeting with lactation consultants and specialists figuring it all out and so right now i'm exclusively pumping and what does that mean that means that i am simply pumping my breast milk out and feeding it to her in a bottle and so every three hours i have to be at the pump pumping as if she would be at my breast eating and so right now I'm using the Motif Luna and that's the one that the insurance company sent me for free. And I absolutely love the Motif, like it acts, it clears my boobs out, it's not uncomfortable, um, they were really helpful with me getting the right flanges and all of that. So I absolutely love it. But what I don't love is being at the wall every three hours. Like for example, I want to go outside, I have to map out three hour schedules to go and do all the things I want to do. I don't want to do that. So. That's why I tried out the LV because I'm like, okay, this is a, supposed to be a great pump and like people in the exclusive pumping community absolutely love it. So I'm like, let me try it out. See what it's like for me. So here we go. So we're going to start with like, here is partially everything that they give you in a box. And they give you a lot of stuff because I still have, I have some parts out, of course, because I have been using it. So, what I really like about it is they give you like a lot of, they give you everything you need. So, they give you the little bottles. This is the bottles for the milk to go into and you get two sets of those, which is great. The lids to go on them. And the great thing about this is you can store these. So, like if you do a pump and you just want to leave your breast milk in it, you can absolutely do that. That's great. They give you the flanges. They give you 24 and the 28 size, this all comes in a box. So this is the 24 size, and this is the 28 size, which is absolutely great. Then you have your chargers, because of course, you gotta charge the LV pump. So you have your chargers, and you have your lids for if you wanna store your breast milk in the black plastic bottles. And then you have these really cool, convenient things. So the thing about the LV is that it has to be completely attached to your body. There cannot be any gaps in between the LV pump and your boobs. So it, it has to literally be on top of you. And this is something that you can attach to the bra that you're using to make sure that it's very sturdy and very attached to you. Because the LV will not work if it's not perfectly attached to your body and your bra. And these are the bags, the little storage bags to take if you would like to transport the LV with you. And then here we have it, the actual. So the controls on it are pretty simple. You have your power button and then you have your play button. And then like you put, you press this to start. And the good cool thing about the LV is it always starts on massage mode and then it moves after two minutes, it goes into the next mode. And so you can increase it on your boob or you can decrease it on your boob. And of course you can also use the app. So the LV app is actually pretty cool and pretty convenient. I would say that's one of my most favorite things about the LV is the fact that they have the app to go with it. Um, that made it pretty convenient for me because I was able to do everything on the app. So I, so as I was saying, the cool thing about the LV is it has the app. And the app is truly cool because you can control everything on the app. You can set your settings on the app. You know how long you've been pumping on the app. And you can actually see how much you're pumping on the app. So there's a little, there's a little wave thing that shows you how many ounces you have in your pump session. And then it tracks your pump session. So how many times you pump with your LV, how many minutes you pump with your LV. And that was pretty cool. So I think the biggest thing that everybody wants to know is, is the LV worth it? Is it worth, because the price tag on the LV is $500. So is it worth it? In my opinion, definitely not. There are definitely other ways to make pumping more efficient for you that do, does not involve spending $500. And 
here's why so my first things first is it literally has to be in a perfect state a perfect condition for it to work so let's say your boobs are really really small or really really big and don't fit into the 24 or the 28 then you don't have the perfect condition already so it makes it even harder to get out how much how many ounces you would usually get out on a regular pump and then that's the other thing that I would say. It is not a hospital grade pump, so you are not getting out the amount of ounces that you would if you use the hospital grade pump, at least in my experience, which was really disheartening because of course I need to, I'm exclusively pumping, I need to get all the ounces out. Another thing that I would say is it is, it's just extremely difficult to begin using and I had to watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos and get a whole lot of advice in some group chats that I'm in just for me to start using. And I feel like for $500, it should have been very, very easy and self-explanatory for me to use. So I did not enjoy that at all. I did not enjoy having to do research upon research upon research and hours and hours just to use it because of course I was trying, I boiled my parts and like sanitized my parts and I was trying to go ahead and get into using the pump but I was unable to and I still had to keep going back to using my other pump while learning how to use that one and that was pretty aggravating to me and then another thing that I would say is like there's lines on here and the lines are supposed to guide you into like where your nipple is supposed to go but it's still just not it's not what it should be. It should be, in my opinion, it should be a lot more efficient than what it is. And then as you're using the app, you have to constantly link these, so the actual pumps back to the app because for some reason it unlinks a lot on its own. And that's also super inconvenient. And another thing, you have to make sure you do your boobs are in it perfectly because it will leak back out. So I'm going to show you an example of how you do that, of how that happens. So in order to attach it, you have it like this. And the best way they say to do it is like, you know, you put your boob into it like that and then you bring it up. So once you attach it and you bring it up, if it's not attached right or to your body correctly, the milk will come back out. So one of my first few times using it, my bra was literally soaked in breast milk because the milk was coming back out of it, out the back of it. And that was really annoying because it's like, okay, I actually need this milk. Like, and it's being wasted with this pump. So I would just say, save your money. Don't buy this pump. There's so many more options out there that are not this expensive that could be even more convenient. And a great way to make the pump that you already have portable is you could get a battery pack and just plug up your the um, pump that you already have to your battery pack so I would definitely recommend doing that reverse is spending five hundred dollars in my opinion it just isn't worth it yeah I think I went over everything about the pump and that's all comment let me know if you have the LV pump how you felt about it let me know if you have any questions for me um about the pump or any suggestions just anything like that comment below let me know thank